Good afternoon to all the respected chairperson, respected jury members, all the coordinators and presenters. I'm Shivani Kumari, second year student of forensic science. My e-poster is on the topic, chloroquine, a poison in disguise. Chloroquine is an antiparasitic and anti-inflammatory drug used in the prophylactic treatment of malaria and for rheumatoid arthritis. Recently, it was used in the treatment of COVID-19. One thing that was completely ignored is that in the past 20 years, lethal suicide cases with chloroquine have been reported, indicating a new problem in the field of suicide. Deliberate poisoning by ingesting a large amount of chloroquine tablets have become a frequent method for committing or attempting suicide. Chloroquine overdose is advocated as a means of suicide in the French book, Suicide Mode They Employ. The toxicity of this drug in overdose is often underestimated by doctors and patients. New research has added to the growing body of evidence that potential COVID-19 drug chloroquine is linked to higher rates of various cardiovascular problems. The study published in the British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology revealed that chloroquine was associated with a life-threatening heart rhythm events, heart failure, and damage of the heart muscle itself. The first article that describes a suicide where a fatal dose of chloroquine was taken is a 24-year-old woman who was found dead following suicidal intoxication with chloroquine. The woman was found dead in a locked hotel room. Two jars containing residues of white and blue powder were found nearby and empty cans of apple puree. In a suicide note, she reported that she had discovered a painless and reliable suicide method online. An autopsy revealed bluish-greenish gastric contents and overhydration and congestion of heart and lungs. As the result of post-mortem examination pointed to intoxication, a forensic toxicological analysis was performed. The case of death, the cause of death was the ingestion of lethal dose of chloroquine in combination with a high dose of diazepam. I would further like to present a 14-year-old girl who was admitted to the emergency department after intentional ingestion of 7.5 gram of chloroquine base, followed by cardiac and respiratory arrest. Despite early mechanical ventilation, cardiac support and treatment, the patient died. Laboratory investigation indicated disseminated intravascular coagulation confirmed by hemorrhages, a finding that has previously not been discussed. Post-mortem tissue analysis demonstrated early drug distribution to the medulla oblongata and cerebellum. I would like to talk about the adverse effects by discussing a 60-year-old woman receiving prolonged administration of chloroquine for treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, developed complete heart block requiring a permanent pacemaker, conjective heart failure, and progressive myopathy. During hospital investigation for her myopathy, she died of acute pulmonary thrombosis. Furthermore, 127 cases of COVID-19 patients were considered who were treated with this drug, in which about 85% were reported with adverse cardiac events and about 30% died of cardiac arrest. Chloroquine exerts its toxicity by quinine-like mechanism. It is a profound negative improve and slows intraventricular conduction. Oral chloroquine is rapidly and almost completely absorbed, resulting in the transiently high blood concentration early in distribution phase that are potentially cardiotoxic. This drug can result from the inhibition of ion channels, including pacemaker channels. As a result, as a result ingestion of a surprisingly small amount of chloroquine may have severe adverse effects. Most deaths occur one to four hours after ingestion because chloroquine is redistributed into toxic tissue effects, rarely last beyond 24 hours despite a terminal elimination half-life for chloroquine of six to 14 days. The estimated amount of chloroquine ingested that produce toxic or lethal effects range from one gram to as much as 26.7 gram of base. Although the exact amount of chloroquine ingested are seldom known, and only estimates can be given. Therefore, clinicals must be warned about the chloroquine-related cardiac manifestations, even have conduction disorders without problems, maybe initial complications of toxicity that are mostly irreversible. The toxicity of this drug in overdose is often underestimated by doctors and patients. Therefore, treatment needs to be stopped when cardiac manifestations are present. Thank you so much.